I've shown off the uniqueness that is, and perhaps was, the Gemini from 2018 before. Yes, it's stuck on Android 8, but with the latest 2025 Google Play services and latest apps from the Play Store, some apps just won't work on something this old, and many won't work on a landscape UI, but here's what I do with it alongside my primary phone, the iPhone shooting this, and staying away from anything private or confidential. Opening up, there's a lock screen pattern because there's no biometric sensor here, no fingerprint, etc. This is not my real pattern, by the way, don't worry. Notice there's a no button interface. You can disable the, the back home and all apps buttons to give you more screen real estate. This is a, one of the settings for the Gemini. You get the usual Android drop down notifications and quick settings, etc. You also get the usual Android app drawer. I've got half a dozen, maybe more, third party apps really useful, as I shall demonstrate in a moment. There's also the extras bar that Planet Computers supply with a, an extra series, series of shortcuts that emulate the original Scion Series 5 in the late 1990s. Let's demonstrate some of my setup here. Agenda here on the extras bar integrates perfectly with Google Calendar and so forth. And you get a year planner, which is very pretty, if a little dense, a month planning mode and also week planning, of course, which is where we came in. Escape at any point is back, in this case, back to the desktop. Also on the extras bar here, I've got data, which is their rewritten uh, version of data, again from the Science Series 5, with databases of models, CDs and DVDs in my case. Very useful way of cataloguing your life. Back to the desktop. Even this old device is able to live fully online, so I've got virtually all my files and backups in, in OneDrive here. And also, of course, in uh, Microsoft 365, which gives me access to all the usual things like uh, scanning documents to PDFs and voice transcription and so forth, plus Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Notice that because I haven't got the back and home buttons, you, you use function D for desktop, function A for all applications. And of course, yes, escape is the back, which is perfectly natural for someone who's used computers, of course. Because I use the Gemini a lot on public transport, I've got the train line app keeping a, a track of t tickets and uh, progress of the various rail transport. Also city planner I find very useful, plus also Google Maps is in the mix. There's all the usual low level stuff. There's a files application built in by Planet, which is a, your typical file manager, but it's nice to have it in the ROM. And finally, of course, Chrome. There's the Chrome browser, as you know and love it. Multiple tabs, multiple websites and so forth. So a very useful productivity device on the go, even if it's old and even if, even if not all applications work on it. This is the Planet Computers Gemini Android 8 with the added camera. See my other video for adding that and some of the results from it.